In these lessons, we'll cover how Offer versus Serve fits into the National School Lunch Program and may also be used in the School Breakfast Program. The goals of Offer versus Serve are to reduce food waste in school meals and to give students a choice on which food they want to select. Offer versus Serve applies to menu planning and determines reimbursable meals. As part of the Healthy Hunger-Free Kids Act, the federal government provides an additional six cents for each reimbursable lunch a school serves. So let's look at what qualifies as a reimbursable meal when using Offer versus Serve. Reimbursable meals are made up of the correct meal components based on age and grade level. Components make up the menu items. Remember, a menu item is any planned meat or meat alternate, vegetable, fruit, or juice, grains, or milk that is named on the menu to be served on a given day. A menu item may contain only one component or it may contain more than one component. Menu items containing more than one component are often referred to as combination items. Let's take a look at the general rules regarding offer versus serve. It must be implemented for grades 9 through 12 at lunch. It is optional for grades K through 8 for lunch and optional for all grades for breakfast. As a reminder, if schools do not utilize offer versus serve, the student must select all planned menu items for the meal to be reimbursable. There are two key areas to remember for OVS, menu planning and the determination of reimbursable school meals. The menu planner must indicate what choices or combination of choices the student may select in order to have a reimbursable meal. And school nutrition staff must recognize a reimbursable meal at the point of service. Signs, color coding, reminders about the number of components required, and encouraging students to build healthy meals are all good ideas to consider. There are a number of resources, including ChooseMyPlate.gov signs, that encourage students to choose wisely. For menu planning, make sure the school prepares and offers enough food for students to select reimbursable meals. And to determine if meals are reimbursable, ensure that students exiting the point of service selected enough to make a reimbursable meal. Also, be sure you understand about food components and food items. A component is one of the food groups required by the meal pattern. Components are things like milk, grain, fruit, vegetable, or meats or meat alternates. Food items are those foods offered within each of the five different components, things like a whole grain roll, an apple, or broccoli. Think of it this way. An item is the serving size that a student may take with the meal. The menu planner may divide a component into two separate items. For example, part of the daily grain component may be from noodles and part of it from a roll. Under OVS, the student must take at least the daily minimum amount of a component required by the daily meal pattern. The one exception to this requirement to select full portions required by the meal pattern is the selection of the first half cup of fruit or vegetable. Students may decline one of four items at breakfast. At lunch, students may decline up to two components. When students select sufficient amounts of food to qualify as a reimbursable meal, the lunch must be sold as a unit, not as separate items. Remember, you can refer to the meal pattern section of this module to review detailed information about the daily and weekly requirements for breakfast and lunch menus. Now, click on OVS at breakfast or lunch to learn more about that specific meal.